man to get the ball. <risa> Hola, Beto. ¿Cómo estás, hermano? ¿Cómo estás? Igualmente. Gusto verte. Igualmente. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Todo bien? Bien, bien. Eso. Marisa, ¿qué tienes aquí? Mira. This is the Mayan belt. It's a unique piece of art for the winner of Saturday night. Wow. Wow. It is... Uh, ¿Cómo se llama la piedra? Jade. Jade, Jade with a uh, gold. And, uh, oh, this is Jade. and all the symbols, Mayan symbols. The Mayan symbols, uh, the Mayan calendar, which is the first in mankind. The Mayan uh, community discovered this, the use of zero. Before that, th there was no use of zero. And it's a very complex uh, description. This is a feathered um, snake, which is called uh, Kukulkan. And it has a very powerful significance for, for the Mayan culture. It's a wonderful belt. Wow. All right, before Diaz nicks it, put it, put it away, because he'll put it in his bag. <laughs> um, how are you, Mauricio? I'm doing great. I'm yeah? doing great. I'm very happy. You're all good. Um, here for a huge fight. We're used to having huge fights on this weekend in uh, at this... Well, in Las Vegas, really, Cinco de Mayo weekend, but what, what does Canelo and Jacobs bring? They bring a great story to the table, uh, fair play, mutual respect, and uh, just uh, 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 defeating uh, uh, so many obstacles they have to get to this point, and uh, I'm sure we're going to watch a great fight. Absolutely. Um, just a, a few updates from yourself, if you can tell us anything, uh, um, obviously, the last time that we saw you, you were in the, the UK and you were having discussions, obviously, with Dylan White's situation. He's fighting Oscar Rivas now on the 20th of July in London. But is, are we any kind of closer to knowing where he stands in the whole world of Brazil situation? Well, we are uh, managing uh, the situation. The WS had a, a vote. We are going through the process and uh, we're waiting for Dylan White side to to confirm if they accept the WBC's ruling and then go from there. Is it likely that he'll be made mandatory for the winner of that fight? I'm not going to comment not yeah. to to bring false uh, speculations on whatever. We're just waiting, Habibi, we're just waiting to have uh, the, the process carry out. Okay, but it, it's ongoing and it should be resolved soon? Should That's we what we expect. For it to be resolved soon, yes. Okay, okay. Um, Marisa, what's the situation regarding uh, Luke Campbell? Uh, we have also uh, the WBC Board of Governors is going through the process. Um, Mikey Garcia was honored with the emeritus status, so there's a vacancy, and uh, Luke Campbell is a mandatory challenger. And we're going through the process in the WBC to make the ruling uh, Monday or Tuesday of next week. We know Eddie Hearn has already told us he's kind of put, putting forward Devin Haney as a as kind of the next in line uh, that can he potentially sent, take the fight. Eddie Hearn, Matchroom sent a specific request, and uh, that is being set forth in the WBC board uh, with the different options, and we'll have a result uh, fairly soon. When can we expect an announcement regarding that? May, maybe uh, Friday or. Monday after this, this uh, because today it's a holiday, so there's no office also, so we, we might go all the way to Monday. Um, Andy Ruiz was announced as Anthony Joshua's next opponent uh, for June the 1st at Madison Square Garden. Uh, what do you think of that as an opponent, a uh, replacement opponent for Gerald Miller? Well, Andy Ruiz is a tough fighter. Uh, you can never count him out. He was the uh, NABF champion for a while. Uh, he went to to the hometown of Parker and did a fairly good job in, in that fight, a very close fight. And I think it's a great, credible opponent for Joshua. 
obviously we had this situation regarding Gerald Miller which came to light over the last few weeks and it has been a disappointing situation that hasn't it what we've kind of learnt regarding Gerald Miller over the last few weeks well it's very unfortunate um, I, 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 I'm not going to discuss Miller's fault or not fault on, on the case the WBC had a uh, twice remove him from the rankings because he would not enroll in the clean boxing program and I read that he had some issues in mixed martial arts or kickboxing before it's unfortunate it was a fight that was building up and uh, anytime there's a situation of course he's gonna have his due process uh, but it's highly uh, probable that uh, that uh, everything will be confirmed as positive findings but uh, I'll just move on I say it's not Joshua's fault. He's preparing for a title defense and he should just be recognized and, and concentrating on, on the new opponent. Really, so can you make any comment on the WBA giving him a six-month ban? No, I cannot comment on other organizations' uh, decisions. Mm. Okay, fair enough. It's just thought I'd ask you anyway. I know it's, it's not your business, shall we say, so but I thought I'd ask you anyway. But, just coming back to this weekend, it should be a great night at the T-Mobile Arena with Canelo and Jacobs. Absolutely, it's going to be a very special night and uh, we're going to enjoy a world event. Richo, thank you very much for talking to Eiffel TV. We look forward to seeing that being paraded today as well, the belt. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a good time here in Las Vegas. Thank you very much, you too. Thank you.